Texas Biomedical Research Institute in San Antonio is getting ready to house the country's largest marmoset colony. UT Health San Antonio is moving its marmoset group over to the institute. Joining us at the table to discuss how this is going to help in aging and infectious diseases research is associate scientist at Texas Biomed, Corey Ross. Good morning to you, Corey. Good morning. Tell, tell us about the role that you've had with Texas Biomed and UT Health when it comes to this uh, marmoset colony. Absolutely. So I am an associate professor at Texas Biomed and at AM San Antonio, and I'm associated with UT Health. And my role initially with UT Health was to launch the aging specific colony there. And now I'm the colony manager at um, Texas Biomed, and we're going to bring those two colonies together and focus on aging research and other needs of researchers, but really focusing on aging. So how many marmosets will be part of this colony? We have 350 at Texas Biomed now. It'll be 450 when they come together. And why marmosets? Why has that been the focus when it comes to aging and infectious diseases? Marmosets are a great non-human primate to study because they're small, they're squirrel-sized, and they um, have much shorter lives than humans, but they age in a similar way. So they get the same diseases that humans do. We have cardiovascular disease, um, cognitive changes, dementia, those types of things show up in the marmosets as well. And so we can see that in a two to three year span, unlike the 20 to 30 years that it takes for a human to show those in old age. And what aging diseases, aging and infectious diseases will the research be focused on? Right now we've been focusing on diseases like frailty, um, which is hard to define in a person when you see it. In an older person you know it, but it's hard to define, so we've been working on that. With the marmosets we've been working on things like Alzheimer's disease. And then more broadly, outside of aging, uh, marmosets have been of high interest for Zika infection um, and trying to come up with cures and preventatives for that virus. I was reading about this. I know that the National Institute of Health has really launched a lot of funding and they're trying to get more funding to get more marmosets. And so when you look to the future with this large marmoset colony, will there be collaborations with other institutions and to, to forward more other types of research? Absolutely. We um, There's a lot of interest in marmosets right now, nationally and internationally. And with us having the largest colony, we already integrate with a lot of universities here in, in San Antonio, Trinity, UTSA, UT Health, a and San Antonio. They're all working together uh, and that will continue to grow. So we have collaborators across the nation and we expect more as we grow. Where are these marmosets going? Um, is there, is there a new building, a new center that's we being do. built? Okay. We have, a, it's called the Doherty Building and it's been recently renovated and it's a beautiful new space. Um, we have a whole wing specifically for aging. It's, it's a great new building. And when is that groundbreaking? Um, the well, end the groundbreaking of this month. Happen. Oh, we'll, we'll open. It'll then. open at the end of this month. Very nice. Mm -hmm. And can you share, and if there has been any, any um, I don't know, groundbreaking um, uh, research that, that's happened with any of these uh, aging and infectious diseases that you've mentioned. Absolutely. So we, we think they're all groundbreaking, but um, <laughs> we're particularly interested. There's this drug called rapamycin, which um, the Barshop Institute is interested in for preventing aging. And this is the first time we were excited about um, what we call null results, where there's no change, meaning that rapamycin didn't harm but it seems to actually be doing more than that. It seems to be protecting the marmosets from losing memory. Um, so we're hoping that this might be a drug that we can use to help with healthy aging. That's really exciting. Lots more to come. Lots more to come. All right, Corey <laughs> Ross, thank you so much for being here. Thank you very much for having me. We're gonna take a quick break. We'll be right back.